Good afternoon, Raymond. I'm going to show you how to put a GIF into a file. And I have taken the liberty of making a GIF with this text, and it says, Hello from Raymond. And I have put little sparkles on it. If I click on it, you can see over here in the Layers palette where I have three layers and they're all ready to go. <clears throat> I have chosen something dear to your heart, this beautiful bluebird. And what I'm going to do with that is put it over into Animation Shop. There are two ways that you can do this. You can right click it, copy, go to Animation Shop, and in a blank area, paste as new animation. And there we have it. We also need to have our GIF file open. So I click open and I need to find my GIF file. Hello from Raymond. Okay. Now I'm going to pull this out so you can see this. You see how this first one has the red and blue around it? and the second frame here has uh, a gray. This means that it's not highlighted. And this is the reason why we go up to edit. We select all. And now you see that there's blue around there and that selects all of these frames that we're using and those are three. Once these are selected you go to the top, right click, and copy that. And we can get rid of that for now. And the image that you have chosen to put your GIF text on has to have the same amount of frames as what your GIF does. And we know that that is three. Fortunately, up here in the toolbar of Animation Shop, we have a little icon that says duplicate. I click that once and I now have two frames. I click it again, I now have three frames and that's all the frames that we need to match up with the frames of the GIF. They have to match always. And here is where we run into the um, select all again. You right your click into the first frame, go up to edit, and select all. Everything is selected in there now. What we do is uh, right click in the first frame, we paste, and we paste into selected frame. And that should have an S on it because when you paste this in, it's going to go into all three frames at once. And my cursor now has Hello from Raymond on the end of it. It's, it's like it's stuck there. So you have control of where you're going to put it. And once you've placed it where you want it to be, you left click it into place. And did you notice that this popped in here? It pops in all frames at once. So now what we're going to do is go up to View Animation. And you can see that your bird is here. And it has your Hello from Raymond sparkling little uh, text of GIF right there. And if you like it that fast, that's fine. I don't. So I go up to Animation, down to Frame Properties, and it always starts out at 10. And I don't like it at 10. I prefer something like 17. It's just a matter of preference. The higher the number, the slower your animation is going to be. And I'm going to OK that, check it again, and let's check the animation. 
you see the sparkles aren't going as fast and I think that's more well it's more to my liking I don't know if you'd like it but you can always change it I'm going to click off on that and I want to show you something here under frame one there's a D17 this 17 is the display number that I just changed if I hadn't changed it these would read 10 so you can always tell what um, speed your animation is going at so now we go up here to save save as and we'll save it on the desktop and we're going to name it Raymond's Bluebird and always leave the save as type a GIF don't ever change this you click save when this box comes up you click next and the next one you click next the same here and then finish and that's all there is to that and we're going to uh, let me see if I can find your hmm where is it I have so, I have so much stuff over here I've been working this is probably it yes it is hello from Raymond you can see it sparkly and here is your bluebird and this would be what you would use as a greeting card or whatever um, anyway that's the way you do it it's very simple isn't it I hope you don't have any trouble and you enjoy bye